Hello, I'm back again with another use those white scraps idea. How about just adding them on a piece of colored cardstock in strips and allow the color to peep through. This makes a perfect background for whatever you're going to use it for. So I use mine for cards at the moment, um, but I've done this for scrapbooks. I've done it for journals. So, and it is just a matter of having a handful of strips and then you just start gluing them down. And I use my tacky glue. That seems to work for me. You can start at one end or the other or right in the middle. This one, because it's a wider one, I'm going to put it right down the center. And then I'll fit the more narrow ones on either side. Is that one long enough? Oh yes, it's just long enough. Aha, uh -huh. so I guess I need a little bit more underneath there. Ta-da! That's got a little bloopy on there, but that's okay. I'm sure I can cover that up later. This is so simple and easy to do. Definitely something else you can do in front of the TV. Yep, so if you're looking for something to do in front of the TV, this is your this is your go-to. You can do this with other paper strips also, with other colors. I've done it with blacks, blues, browns, grays. But the white and black are my favorite. I just I really like the way they look. Just because that contrast is so starky, striking. That's what I'm thinking, starking. Yep, striking. <laughs> starky too. Where'd I get that from? I don't know. Oop, that's a strip off of a paper pad, the binding strip that had the little hole punched in the top. Those are perfect for this. And you can do these any with any size strips that you have. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you to choose whatever you have available to you. Most of my white scraps are things like this, where I have a, a whole little bag full. So, and of course, my packaging that I that I like to save. And then I've got this package here that has a little bit wider strips in it. So, and then this stack here is just mostly um, card card backs that I've pulled the off of the back of cards, things like that. So, and then some bulletin board bits and pieces. So, that's it for my white scraps. So I'm honestly always looking for white scraps. So, but when I've got these, I like to use them. Yep, I do. And this is a fun way, I think, to use them. Yep, and that's gonna be pretty. Alrighty, and then you just turn it over and just trim off the excess. And you've got card front panels. What do you think of that? These are also fun to use your punches and or dies and cut things out. So they look real pretty for on card fronts. Alrighty, so imagine all the different colors. I mean, look at look at the yellow. That's pretty. Look at the, the red. That's pretty. You can even do like candy corn colors for since it's all since it's uh, almost October, I'm thinking candy corn colors. So imagine doing white and red strips on this, or white and yellow, or red and red and orange on here. I think that would be really pretty. All right, so there you go. There's another use those white scraps idea for you. Use them to create new backgrounds for your cards. Alrighty, so I hope you like this idea. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.